All right, I'm gonna show you how to calibrate your X and Z axis and to make sure that whenever you tell it to go Z one inch, that it's actually traveling one inch and not 50 thousandths or two inches or whatever. This is, this is gonna cause your machine to be more accurate. If you will just go to uh, this, I'll exit out of here. I'll go back in here, go to 10. So whenever you enter into mock, I'm using a UC uh, 100 motion controller. Whenever you enter into mock, if you will just go to settings right here and go down to axis calibration right here it's going to ask you what axis you want to calibrate right now I'm going to calibrate my Z okay hit OK it's going to say how far would you like to move the Z axis uh, let's say a hundred thousandths point one okay and so from there Take you over to the lathe. And right now, on my Z, I have an indicator set up, and I have it on the small dial at five, and on this at approximately zero. We can fine tune it a little bit, but as where it sets, you can see that if I move anything at all let me get it clear that it, it it wiggles so i'm just going to get an approximate here if you got your lathe set up on a solid surface then it's going to be a, uh definitely a lot more accurate so we're sitting at zero and five i'm going to go go ahead and come over here and it said how far would you like to move the z-axis i said 100 thousandths forward so i'm going to go ahead and hit enter I'm going to watch this and see how far it goes. So now we're at four and zero. So it moved exactly one hundred thousandths. Now come back to the computer. It's going to say, how far did the Z axis move? We're going to say point one. Okay. It's going to give you a value. Z axis will be set to steps per unit. Would you like to accept it? Yes. Z axis has been set. Now, the same thing with the X. And your Y and your A, B, and Z. When you want to calibrate an axis, you just go into settings right here and follow those steps and the same rule is going to apply for the x-axis so you're just going to do exactly what we did in z but on the x should be no problems